It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today is a battle, a battle of the English strong ales. In one corner of the bar, we have an Imperial Ruby beer from Witchwood, based in Oxford, England. And this Oxfordshire, I should say. And this is the Imperial Ruby beer King Goblin in a 500 milliliter bottle. Nice dark, almost black glass on this one. There's the bottle cap. And in the other corner is Adnam's Broadside. Now, along with Green King's Hen's Tooth that I reviewed a long, long time ago, like 12 years ago now on the channel, maybe even 13 years ago, uh, Broadside was the beer that really kind of intrigued me when it came to start in the channel because based where I live, still to this day in South Wales, a lot of the beer served on cask, cask ale, is like a 3.84, 4.2% ABV bitter. So when I first started the channel, I seen a beer of 6.3% ABV. I was intrigued. I was really intrigued and I couldn't wait to review it. So I contacted Adams back in the day and they sent me the whole range of their beer, including Broadside. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. You can probably still see those two the King Goblin review from 12 years ago, the Broadside review from 12 years ago. I probably look an awful lot younger in the reviews, but it's time to pit these two beers together. And why not? Why not? Adnam's based in Sol oh, um, Southwold. <laughs> I was reading the Battle of Sol Bay there. Um, Southwold in the corner of England down there. Norfolk way down that right, right in the corner. And then one in Oxford being King Goblin. Uh, they were both in the region of £1.80 per bottle. But you could buy three, or no, it's four bottles for something like six fifty, seven pounds £7, something like that in Tesco. Right, without further ado, let's pit these two beers together. I'm going to start off with the King Goblin. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Now, when I first reviewed this beer, uh, which would, I think they were just about still an independent brewery. They hadn't been bought out yet by Marston's. Which, of course, is now Marston's Carlsberg Brewing Company. It's even got it on the back of the bottle. It's such a strange thing. It really is such a strange thing to, I mean, I've, I've not drunk this beer since I reviewed it all those years ago, 10, 12 years ago. And my younger self would have been horrified to have seen the word, word Carlsberg on the back of this bottle. Now, don't get me wrong. Carlsberg makes some pretty de decent beers. The Carlsberg Jacobson is a terrific, terrific beer. It really is. And Carlsberg itself, on keg, is not the worst pint in the world. But back then, oof, back then I was a staunch real ale drinker. And I would have been spitting nails seeing, seeing the word Carlsberg on the back of the, on the, back of the bottle. Right, time for the Adnams uh, broadside. Here we go. There's the bottle cap. Adnams, still an independent company. Still independent and training as an independent company. Uh, they they have broadened their horizons, though. Um, I think they sell a lot of wine these days. Adnams, I think they produce their own wine. Uh, I think they produce their own gins and maybe whiskies and spirits so they've become a spirit company since uh, just being a brewery but 
then again, I was on the phone. I was on the phone to a lovely man from Liverpool who owns a brewery up there just last week. And he was saying, if you just own a brewery in, in 2023, then you've got to look to do other things because it's such a, a, a tough, tough way of making money is, is owning just a brewery in 2023. Uh, so two finger, slightly off white head and very, very dark looking beer here. Good levels of carbonation. So let's have a look at these two imperial strength beers then. Look at Broadside. Look at the difference with Broadside. Look at the way that beer looks. It's much darker than the King Goblin. It's got much better head retention, a much better head on the beer. It might be slightly lower in the ABV. Six point, oh no, no, 6.6. .6 versus 6.3 so yes it is it's slightly lower the king goblin is slightly higher in the abv let's get the aroma on this one Kind of like slightly licorice, slight kind of fruity. Nutty, biscuity, bready. But a slight syrup. There's a slight brewer's syrup aroma here. Goodness knows what I said about this beer 12 years ago. I think I really enjoyed it. But it smells okay. Let's get in. Cheers, everybody. That's not bad. In fact, I really like that. I really like that. I don't review, I don't review enough of these British institutions, you know, these British breweries that, you know, they, 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 they go along doing their own business. They don't shout too much on social media. They, they're just going along their business in the supermarkets and, they're producing these strong ales at 6.6% ABV. It's biscuity, it's bready. There's some licorice in there. Slightly sweet, probably a little bit of brewer's syrup in there. Nice bitterness on the back end. Little bit of copper, little bit of kind of a copperiness coming through on the back end, but it's quite nutty and biscuity. It's quite nice, this. Little bit, little bit of an alcohol taste coming through. You can just taste the alcohol a little bit on the beer, or you can feel the the warmth of the alcohol at 6.6% ABV. You can feel it sliding down the throat into the pit of the stomach, warming all the way down. Adnam's Broadside looks a very different beer, doesn't it? It looks a very different beast, this one. Look at the lacing on the glass, really lovely. It's got great head retention, nice deep dark colour, aroma. Much more of a, I'm going to say much more body, much more of the malt. You're definitely picking up different levels of malt, different layers of malt. There's nuttiness, biscuitiness, breadiness coming through. Nice and hoppy as well. This smells fantastic. I do love a broadside. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It 
it's different. I mean, I'm gonna have to have a couple of tastes of this to really get into it. Lots of licorice in this beer. But a nuttiness, a biscuitiness, a breadiness, a lot more bitterness coming through on the back end. Little bit more body on the beer. Less, and this is a good thing, less of that kind of tasting of the alcohol, feeling the alcohol kind of sliding down the pit of the stomach. The warming sensation. It's a little bit more refined. It's a little bit more... Refined, I think, was a great word for it. There's a little bit more to it. The layers of malt. There may be a little bit of brewer's syrup in the Adams Broadside, but you're getting a lot more of the malt. If there is any brewer's syrup in this beer, it's a lot less than the Witchwood uh, King Goblin, which is quite... It's not bad. I mean, I mean, you're not asked to pay, you know, three, four, five, six pounds a, a, a bottle for this stuff. Uh, it's it's less than two pounds in if you buy it as part of a deal in Tesco. So, uh, six point six percent ABV, traditional nutty, biscuity, licoricey sort of beer that kind of looks like this. It doesn't look too bad, does it? It's still great value for money. It's still a decent beer. It's still a decent beer, but I think the broadside just shades this battle. It just... Uh, not because they're an independent company. Uh, Adnams. Um, not picking on... Carlsberg Marsons in any way here. I, I just think it's more of a refined beer. I mean, look at the look at the two beers side by side. Look at the lacing on the broad side. Look at the way you're rocking these beers back and forth. You can see there's a little bit more going on in the broad side. But it's not massive. It's not a world of difference. So Let's rate the uh, King Goblin. Let's see if they've actually, because they don't have to put in the ingredients on the back of the bottle. It just contains barley. Um, I think they should, by law, have to name all of the ingredients on each beer. It would stop people like me second guessing if there's any types of brewer's syrups that have used in, the, in, in these beers. It's good. I like it. I really do. I like it. I'm going to say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the King Goblin. And and it, that's a lot of that comes down to the fact it's under £2 a bottle in Tesco when bought in a deal. And I think that's fantastic value for money. Adnams Broadside. It's just that little bit better. It's just that little bit better. And for me, it gets a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.